Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to another Ninjago 2019 speculation video here on the channel. In today's video, I want to discuss why exactly the monastery is back and why the ninja seemingly cannot keep a base for more than a few seasons. So we see in the little season, not season 10, but 2019 sneak peek that they showed off at Comic-Con, we see that the ninja are in the process of either reassembling the monastery or restoring it. If you guys don't recall, the monastery was burnt down all the way back in Season 1 uh, by the Hypnobri tribe of the Serpentine, and it appeared a little bit in various Ninjago seasons afterwards, such as Season 6 and 7. But now it appears that the monastery is back and running in full capacity, which is pretty interesting to me. But why exactly do the ninjas seem to change bases every season? Of course, there was really nothing wrong with the Temple of Air Jitsu. Uh, the, I believe the ninjas still had that base in Season 7. So why now change the base? I mean, does, does the Urgisu Temple, like, not exist anymore? Or is the Destiny's Bounty not efficient anymore to be a base? I don't know, it all seems a little bizarre, but I really do like the idea of the monastery coming back and actually being the ninja's main headquarters, because it does bring back that nostalgia factor from way back in the day. But of course, what could this all mean in the grander sense of things? So basically, you guys know the rumor of uh, the series bringing back older sets and putting them back out on the shelves for the 2019 release because it appears that 2019 will not be bringing a lot of new content to Ninjago, so they might need to bring back older sets as sort of, I guess, an additional bonus. So the monastery coming back could be a confirmation of that event actually happening because, as you guys all know, bringing back older sets really seems like something Ninjago could actually do. And if the monastery is back, what else from Ninjago's pilot season or the first season is actually back in the series as well? So I do think it's interesting. I do like that the ninja are back at the monastery, and I do like how the monastery is fully up and running again. I really do appreciate that quite a bit. Because again, it does add that old sense of nostalgia back into Ninjago, and it's something that I really do enjoy seeing back on screen again after all these years. Of course, how the ninja will use the monastery to train may be very similar to the older days, and I believe that is the primary reason why the monastery is up and running again, is to go ahead and capture that nostalgia factor from fans who have been around since the beginning of the series. But of course, with that being said, that'll just about do it for my thoughts on the Monastery's return. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up rating. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Remember that the comment section is yours for discussions you want to have regarding this topic. Or if you just had a general comment, that's fine too. Thank you guys so very much for watching once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.